I'm going to show you how to create a OneNote document library in SharePoint 2010 and then how to utilize OneNote for capturing and storing documentation around any site customizations that you might make on your site. So first of all, let's create a library. We'll go to Site Actions New Document Library and we'll call this OneNote Documentation. You can name it whatever you'd like. Um, give it a description, so use this library to store documentation about customizations made on this site. And we'll spell library correctly. Um, we'll leave it to display on the quick launch so that we have e easy access to it for this demo. Um, we want to make sure we do not want to create a new version each time we edit a file. Since this is OneNote and it does auto-saving, um, if we turned on versioning, it would be a nightmare and would kind of defeat the purpose of even using OneNote. So be sure to leave that set to no. And then for our document template, we're going to choose Microsoft OneNote 2010 Notebook. Then click Create. It'll take a couple seconds. Okay, here we go. Now I want to show you how to add a OneNote notebook to our document library. There's a couple of different ways we could do that. We could click on Documents and then click on New Document. And since we specified to use OneNote as the template, uh, this option appears. If I click this, it would open up OneNote and attach it to this library. However, I want to show you a different way how to do it as well. Because like I said, there's a couple different ways. Click on Start. We'll go and open OneNote. We'll create our notebook in OneNote and then link it back to SharePoint. So let's click on File, New, and we want to choose Network because we want to share this. We want to upload this to SharePoint. So we need to click Network. Let's type a name for our library. Let's call it OneNote Documentation. Let's put in the path of our library and we'll click create notebook and that should just take a couple of seconds uh, no thank you I don't need, want to email a link to anybody right now okay so here we've got one note uh, by default it just creates a single section and a single a single item within that section Okay, so the first thing I want to do is rename this first top section, and maybe I want to call this uh, Project Kickoffs. Project Kickoff Meetings. And I can add multiple sections up here. Um, let's say uh, if you're going to have any custom workflows on your site, maybe you want to have a section to document the workflows. If you're going to use content types, uh, maybe you want to have a, a tab for that. Um, if you use data view web parts, you know, these are completely customizable by you. Um, do what works, whatever structure is going to work best for you and your organization. Um, if we go back to project kickoff meetings, this will probably be used for capturing the five W's. So the who, what, why, where, and when of each different project that you're going to customize for your site. So what we can do here, and this is this is kind of cool. We can create a reusable template so that anytime we click on want to add a new page, it will populate with a template that you can then just use to capture the information that you want. So for instance, um, there's already, if I click on the little arrow here next to new page, go down to page templates, there's already a bunch of default templates that you can pick from. So if I expand business here, um, the one I'm going to choose to customize a little bit. I like the detailed meeting notes. So this is used, let me make my window a little bit bigger here. So this is used for meetings, obviously, to capture the details of, of the meeting. Uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to modify this just a little bit. And I'm going to say, call this project name. So that whenever anyone picks this template, uh, they would just update that with the actual name of the project they're working on. This is kind of just a default. 
Uh, we'll keep the meeting details section here, but let's just change this to our our five W's. So who? Um, we probably don't need this, but let's add some notes here. So who is sponsoring this project? Um, who is affected? or will benefit from the, from new processes. Okay, then for what? Um, describe this project and any unique characteristics. metadata or security needs. Okay, for the why, why is this needed and describe the current state. Where? Where is the location? Special permission needs of this solution. And then when? You can say when is the deadline? Date. for rollout and go live. Okay, so you get the idea here. You can set the set this helpful text so that whenever somebody opens this to create a new project kickoff meeting, uh, it gives them an idea of, of what kind of information we're looking for. So let's go ahead and save this as a template. So down here at the bottom right, save current page as a template. We'll give this a name. We'll say project kickoff meeting, meeting notes, spell it right. And then let's set it as a default template for new pages in the current section so that I don't have to browse through and find it every time. So I'll click save. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and delete this out of here. I'm going to delete the default page out of here. Okay, so you can see that the section is empty. So now if I just click on the new page, it creates the page based on my default template. And so then all the person needs to do is just go in and fill in the details during the meeting. So now if we close out of OneNote and the page should refresh. If it doesn't refresh, just click the refresh. Now we can see our, our OneNote documentation file is in here. And so if I want to subsequently come back and then open that, click on the arrow and I can say edit in Microsoft OneNote. And then it'll open that up and with a pointer to that particular OneNote notebook. And there you have it. So that in a nutshell is how to create a OneNote notebook in the SharePoint library and then how to create reusable page templates.